how are you? My name is Giovanna Guido. I'm a Brazilian nutritionist and I'm here today to tell you some things, three things that you cannot do after your workouts. A few days ago, I posted a video of things you must do after your workouts to get better results, to see a faster progress. And today, I will tell you three things that you need to avoid doing after workout to not damage your recover, your muscle growth, your fat burn process. So let's go. Ah, and if you like to learn more about sports nutrition, supplements, diet, workouts, etc., please subscribe here my channel, Giovanna Guido USA, and you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm like Giovanna Guido and in the new social media Vigo video. I'm there like Giovanna Guido as well. So first thing you cannot do after your workout, eat inflammatory foods. Once your workout causes a little inflammatory process inside your body, you need to do the right things to heal that inflammation and get the muscle grow and the fat burn, stuff like that. But if you put more inflammation in your body, then it's gonna be harder for you to recover and to get the results you want, you agree? So the most common inflammatory foods are everything that has flour, could be the white flour or the whole wheat flour. So breads, cookies, pasta, anything that has a lot of carbohydrates and gluten can cause a lot of inflammation in your body. Avoid any kind of microwave food, margarine, those ready to go popcorns. Another group that usually cause a lot of inflammation are the dairy products. So anything with milk, with cheese, yogurt, etc. Even the low fat ones, the low lactose ones, anyone. Because the problem is not just with the lactose or the fat. The problem is with the protein from the milk. So you need to avoid that. And another thing that causes a lot of inflammation are the trans fat. So again, avoid anything of ready to go meals, ice creams, candies, cereals, cookies, everything that melts in your mouth, everything that is super crunchy, the chips, usually they have a lot of hydrogenated fat that is the trans fat. So you need to avoid these things. Number two, alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates and intoxicates your body a lot. Once you have alcohol after your workout, your body will stop taking care of the process of healing your muscles and your metabolism to take care of the toxic substance in your body. The same thing with drugs and medicine. It's a priority for your body to get rid of that because it can kill you, can damage you a lot. Recover your muscles will go to the second plan and it's not what you want. You want your body just focusing to recover your muscles and your metabolism, right? No wine, no beer, anything, even the beverage that has just a little bit of alcohol, I don't recommend. And number three, any kind of beverage that has sugar or a lot of caffeine or a lot of preservatives and colorfuls and stuff like that. So all those juices that comes in a box, packages or bottles, anything, those powdered juices that comes in a little package and you just mix with water, they are horrible. They are full of toxins and preservatives and stuff like that. And the energetic drinks, because a lot of caffeine can dehydrate your body and the sugar, cause the inflammation. So the best thing for you to drink after your workout is water, coconut water, natural stuff. Don't go in the supermarket to get all those juice. Could be even a healthy one. Oh, cranberry juice, blueberry juice. No. Usually they put sugar, they add some more fructose to taste better and that's not what you want. It's gonna overload your liver and it's gonna intoxicate your body as well. I hope you like this video. I hope it can help you to get better results and reach your goals faster. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.